We show you once again some body camera video that we first got late today showing the moment a Knox County Sheriff's deputy fires at a homeowner armed with a gun. No one was hurt and no charges are pending. But after watching a press conference about this case earlier today, the homeowner reached out to 10 News to share their experience. WBIR 10 News reporter Shannon Smith spoke with the family and their concerns about that day at their home. Shannon. John, the family and the sheriff's department agree on the basic facts of this case, but the family is concerned about the actions the deputy took during his first day on the job. Body cam video shows the Knox County Sheriff's deputy trying to ring the doorbell before going around back. By that time, we hear the doorknob start to jingle, the doorknob, the, some noise at the door. Eric Ludwig and his sister were in their den when they heard a noise at their back door. And the blinds were down halfway so they could actually see pant legs. So my daughter screamed. That's where you hear the screaming. They think someone is breaking in the house. So I didn't know it was an officer. I thought it was a guy trying to get in to get to us. That's what made me go pull my pistol. Ludwig says he opened the door with the gun, found another man with the gun, and then heard a shot. Show me your hand! Show me your hand! You can see here where the bullet had come through the glass, through the wall. A WBIR legal analyst looked at this case and the actions of Ludwig. If you don't know it's a police officer, have no reasonable expectation the police are coming to your house uh, or would be in there lawfully, and you discharged a weapon, you're probably not in trouble. The Ludwigs don't blame the deputy, but do question whether he was too quick to pull the trigger. Is everybody okay? Yeah, we're fine. If he would have announced when he got here that he was an officer, I would have never pulled my pistol. Something needs to change where innocent people should not be shot at. Sheriff Spangler says the department will include this body cam video in future training, but he stands by the actions of his rookie officer. So it's a great training tool. It absolutely is because it tells you how, how quick that happened and how fast it can happen to anybody out here. That young man you heard from who was shot out in this case also works for the sheriff's department. The family says they have no plans to take any legal action against the deputy or the department. John. Shannon Smith on the story. New tonight, we're hearing 911 calls.